This is Matthew Cratter from Trade University. I'm still traveling, I'm still on the road, but I wanted to make a special video because we really have an emergency situation on our hands. I'm calling it the U.S. Digital Prison, and I'm, I'm gonna be talking about a bill called the Restrict Bill that's currently been proposed before the Senate. I'll link to it in the description notes below. This is basically what's being called a TikTok ban bill, but it's much, much worse. It involves civil fines for you and me for anyone up to $250,000 per violations, criminal fines of criminal fines up to a million dollars, 20 years in prison, and this is if you visit any website or use an app that the US Secretary of Commerce or other parts of the US government say that you cannot visit. This bill is a huge attack on free speech. It's an attack on open source software like Bitcoin. It's Orwellian. It's unconstitutional. If it were to become law, it would probably be overthrown by the Supreme Court, but we don't want to have to wait years and years for that to happen. So it's very important to squash this as quickly as possible, and I'm going to be asking for your help to contact your senator. This is a bipartisan bill that's being sponsored by some Democratic sen senators and Republican senators. And it's something that is being sold under the guise of increasing U.S. national security when, in fact, it is an attack on basic civil liberties that we take for granted in the U.S. It can even be used to punish people who use open source software and who choose to use VPNs. I just ask you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you don't subscribe to the channel already, leave a comment and help me help the YouTube algorithm to get this message out. I thought Greg Price did a great job of summarizing this. The bill to ban TikTok is absolutely terrifying. It gives the government the ability to go after anyone they deem as a national security risk, at which point they can access everything from their computer to video games to their ring light, their ring doorbell, if you have something like this. This is called the Patriot, he's, Greg Price is calling this like the Patriot Act for the internet. The Patriot Act was bad enough, but the Patriot Act for the internet would be a terrible thing. Uh, he goes into talking about how you can be put in jail for 20 years, and they can also deem any foreign government an adversary without informing Congress, and everything they do is not subject to the Freedom of Information Act. So this gives the U.S. federal government way, way too much power. As Greg Price points out, if this was about banning TikTok, they would just pass a bill that simply bans TikTok. But the Uniparty is trying to create the same system of domestic spying that they did after 9-11 for the internet, but on steroids. I'll link to a couple articles that talk about this. Here's one from No BS Bitcoin. The Restrict Act authorizes U.S. government agencies to block technology deemed an undue or unacceptable risk to national security. And the problem is these bureaucrats get to, describe, get to decide what that constitutes. That technology in all includes apps already on our phones, important parts of the internet infrastructure, and software that underpins critical, critical infrastructure. If they have access to sensitive personal data of more than a million people in the U.S., they're covered by this bill. This new bill off also covers emerging technologies, including AI, quantum computing, communications, biotech, and e-commerce. So it's basically a bill that gives the U.S. government unbelievable power to censor and to control things. Basically, there's a humanity hard fork coming that we've been talking about on this channel, and this is an example of it, and this is why it's so important to fight it while we still can. This is a hard fork, meaning that there's going to be two paths that are going to be taken. There's going to be the path taken by the sheeple, the people who just go along with everything, who don't use their own brains, who trust their governments, who trust authority, who don't think for themselves, the people who act like sheep, and then we'll call them the free people. I'm not sure that's the best word for it, but the free people, the self-sovereign people like Bitcoiners. And if you do nothing, those who do nothing, it's just like as we've experienced in the last couple years, and especially if you're in a country that had very strict lockdowns, you already know about this, those who do nothing will end up both having their physical movements restricted and their digital movements restricted on the internet. And this can include bank accounts, this can include internet access, etc. If you end up as one of the sheeple, you're going to end up having to use basically just central bank digital currencies, which can turn your money on and off very easily. You won't have tools of self-defense. You'll be dependent on your government for quality food and water. They can tell you what's healthy and what's not. They can turn off your money, so maybe you've bought too many of a certain kind of vegetable or a certain kind of meat for the month. 
They'll, you'll end up with medical totalitarianism, and we know what that looks like, and you'll be dependent on your government for information. If we don't have access to open source tools, open source software, and a free internet, the internet's already so controlled and captured, but this would make it much, much worse, and we'd be dependent on Big Brother for our sources of information. So that's the sheeple. If you want to be one of the sheeple, that's what you get. If you want to be one of the free people or freeple, if you can come up with a better word for that, please let me know in the comments below. You are the people, you are the small minor minority that wants self-sovereignty. These are freedom-loving people from all races, from all ethnicities, and from all countries. This is an issue. This is a bill in the U.S. Senate, but this is something that you will probably be having to fight in your own state or in your own country at some point if you're not fighting it already. If you want self-sovereignty, if you want power over your own body, power to make decisions for yourself and for your own uh, your own family, if you want free speech, if you want self-sovereign money like Bitcoin, but money that cannot be turned off or censored or debased, if you want free access to information, if you want to have land or a garden or some way of providing your own food and ways of protecting your family. So this is the hard fork that's happening with humanity. Everyone is going to have to choose which side they're going to be on. If you don't make a choice, you will end up with the sheep, the sheeple. And you're not just choosing sides for yourself, but as we said, you're choosing for your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. You can imagine the people in China now who are suffering because previous generations did not stand up, or in fairness to them, were not able to stand up to the government. But at least, uh, and there were many courageous Chinese people in mainland China and in Hong Kong who did try to stand up to the CCP and ended, ended up dying. Sometimes you lose these fights, but it's very important to try to fight for these things, nonviolently, of course, which is what I'm advocating. Once the digital prison has been set up, it will be almost impossible to escape from. Just ask anyone living under the CCP in China. If I weren't on the road, I could dig more into this bill, but I'm going to leave you with these resources, which are quite good. I think you've probably heard enough. You should know who the co-sponsors of this bill are if you're from either of these states. If you're from Virginia, Mark Warner, you can just tell by looking at him uh, that there's something wrong with him. He's one of the, the co-sponsors of this bill, as is, or one of the sponsors of this bill, as is John Thune or John Toon uh, from South Dakota. Uh, Mark Warner is a Democrat. John Thune or Toon is a Republican. So this really is a bipartisan issue. And they're trying to distract you with some news, some other news that's happening now uh, and trying to polarize people. But this is something that is going to affect everyone. And we cannot allow this bill ever, ever to become law. Here's a list of all the co-sponsors, which I'll link to in the description notes below. You can see it's Democrats and Republicans from many different states. Here's the other part of the list, and I'll put this list uh, in the links below. You can also see the list of senators right here at the beginning of the bill. So I would encourage you to contact your U.S. senator, especially if they are one of these who are sponsoring or co-sponsoring co the bill. Uh, the, these kind of people are enemies of freedom. They're enemies of the people, and they need to be thrown out uh, in the next primaries or before. So let, let your voices be heard if you're in the U.S. I don't normally uh, have much faith in the political process. I think the best way out of this is accumulating Bitcoin, running your own node. But this, I will make an exception for this. This is a bipartisan bill that is extremely evil. And that's why I've taken time out from my vacation to make this uh, to make this video because it's extremely important and the American people need to know about it. Maybe you're in favor of enslaving yourself, but at least you should do it consciously. You can read this bill. It's only 55 pages long, or you can read the summaries of this and make your own decision. And if you oppose it, it's very important to contact your senator as soon as possible and let them know what you think of this bill and how they should vote on it. You can count, contact your members in the House of the U.S. Representatives, uh, House of Representatives as well. Thanks a lot for listening to this video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for your help with this, and I will see you again in the next video, which will probably be a pre-recorded video.